we are given the equation ax plus by is equal to 1. This implies that x is equal to 1 minus by upon a. We are also given that cx square plus dy square is equal to 1. Substituting the value of x obtained above, we get c upon a square multiplied by in brackets 1 plus b square y square minus 2by plus dy square is equal to 1. This can be written as y square times in brackets b square c upon a square plus d minus 2bc upon a square times y plus in brackets c upon a square minus 1 is equal to 0. This can be written as y square times in brackets b square c plus d a square minus 2bc y plus c minus a square is equal to 0. Now if this quadratic in y is to have only one solution, then its discriminant must be 0. The discriminant of the above quadratic equation is equal to minus 2bc whole square minus 4 times in brackets a square d plus b square c multiplied by in brackets c minus a square is equal to 0. This implies that 4b square c square minus 4 times in brackets a square c d minus a raised to the power 4 times d plus b square c square minus a square b square c is equal to 0. 4b square c square cancels on the left hand side and this equation simplifies to minus 4a square multiplied by in brackets cd minus a square d minus b square c is equal to 0 which implies that a square d plus b square c is equal to cd. Divide both sides by cd, we get a square upon c plus b square upon d is equal to 1. And this is the required result for the given set of equations to have only one solution. Now we go back to the quadratic equation in y obtained above. This equation is y square times in brackets b square c plus d a square minus 2 b c y plus c minus a square is equal to 0. Solving for y we get 2 b c plus minus the square root of the discriminant of the above quadratic divided by 2 times in brackets b square c plus a square d. Now the discriminant is equal to 0 if the equation is to have only one solution and therefore the value of y in this case is equal to bc upon b square c plus a square d. Now we have obtained earlier that a square upon c plus b square upon d is equal to 1 and this implies that a square is equal to c times in brackets 1 minus b square upon d. Substituting this value of a square in the value for y, we get bc upon b square c plus cd times in brackets 1 minus b square upon d. And this is equal to bc upon b square c plus cd minus b square c. b square c cancels in the denominator and the value of y simplifies to b upon d.
Now the value of x is equal to 1 minus by upon a. Substituting the value of y obtained above, we get x is equal to 1 minus b times b upon d divided by a. And this is equal to 1 minus b square upon d upon a. But we have obtained earlier that a square is equal to c times in brackets 1 minus b square upon d. And therefore 1 minus b square upon d is equal to a square upon c. Using this result, the value of x is equal to a square upon c divided by a which is equal to a upon c. Therefore, to summarize, the condition that the given set of equations have only one solution is a square upon c plus b square upon d is equal to 1. And if this condition is satisfied, the value of x is equal to a upon c and the value of y is equal to b upon d and this is the required answer.